Good morning, everyone. Are you guys getting bored of the beach already? I know. I'm going here an awful lot this week, but it's just so much fun. And today we're with Ramp at the beach because it's swimming lessons for all the children. And you guys know, also I am used to having swimming lessons in a pool, but here on Aruba we have beach everywhere, so you have to make good use of it. And they are taking some swimming lessons right at the beach. It's just perfect. And Orlando, he's taking some swimming lessons with mommy. Center also, but I can't find it. There's like so many kids here on the beach, and they have all these diff different groups of swimming classes and in different ages. I love it. So, bam, I got some breaking news Justin Bieber is found in his apartment alive. Sad news for us all. <laughs> that was such a funny post that Mitchell read to me from the Facebook. But anyway, I'm right in front of the Rio Hotel, and this is one of my favorite hotels over here. It looks so beautiful and like enormous. Can you guys hear the wind? I love the Aruba wind. It's like making me cold and giving me a nice breeze under my uh, armpit. It's like so refreshing. And Orlando, you guys can guess, he's always asleep when we go anywhere. But that's a good with me because less to worry about him, the more fun for mommy because now I can go and explore the rest of Aruba. We're in the high rise right now. I'm just a couple walks away from the swimming lessons because we were there already like 9 o'clock and we're going to stay there till 12 o'clock. So that means I can get some free time and spend some time with my little Orlando right here on the beach. Anyway, I love this hotel. I don't know about anything about the servers or the quality inside. Do you guys, are you guys interested in a hotel tour of this hotel? This hotel is like so beautiful, especially during the night because they have all these lightings right on it and it's just amazing. You can see it from anywhere. This hotel, you can see it everywhere. And it's right across the Bukalu Pier where Mitchell gives salsa lessons every Wednesday, 8.30 p.m. If you guys come to Aruba, you should really go there. So it's across the Rio and the Radisson, and it's awesome. Even if you have two left feet, you can do the salsa with Mitchell. <laughs> Let me rephrase myself. Especially if you have two left feet, you should go and enter the salsa workshop with Mitchell. It's gonna be so much fun. He's gonna have so much trouble. Like, not like this, look like this. <laughs> oh, I love giving Mitchell some extra work. Anyway, it's not the Boogaloo Pier, it's called the Palm Pier. And over there you have the Boogaloo Bar, Beach and Grill. And that's the Rio and over there is the Redison. So you go through this alley over there. It's a very long alley. And I remember when I was pregnant and it was in the beginning of my pregnancy and I still did the workshops together with Mitchell. I would have to wear all these heavy suitcases with all the equipment, the microphone and everything. And you guys know, Mitchell loves to give everything to me. To me to carry. Oh, what a man he is. I don't know if I can take it any longer. I'm just taking this walk and I see everybody passing by with donuts and drinks from Dunkin' Donuts. It's like, it's so unfair. I don't have any change with me. And it's like, oh, the world is... Leaning on my shoulder, sit so heavy. I want myself some donut, and people are looking at me like, <laughs> like I'm crazy walking with a camera, and I feel so embarrassed. But I will continue, just for you guys. I love you guys. It's so funny because, <laughs> sorry, let me act a little bit normal. But it's so funny because a lot of you guys ask Sam, uh, give us some more uh, day in a life vlog, and of course this is a day in my life because I am here with Orlando, uh, with Zenon, but Zenon's with his grandpa and taking the swimming lessons. But you guys want to see more of us inside and that's so funny because a lot of you all like to see daily vlogs and I know it's a lot of work but I'm also like, I'm 
feeling at home a lot of the day so most of the times I film when I'm outside because I like it there's so much to show you guys and it's just beautiful and we have a lot of Aruban fans a lot of fans who have been to Aruba so you guys can recognize a lot um, but yeah you guys want to see us at home and that's so funny because I'm like I feel like I would be too bored if I would only film at home. What do you guys think? What's your opinion? Do you want to see more vlogs? Do you want to see daily vlogs? Do you want to see also a lot of us at home? Let me know. I'm interested in y'all's opinion. So I went back to get myself some money and then I went back again to get myself a chocolate chip muffin. And somehow this side looks way more delicious than this side. I don't know why. Do you guys know why? <laughs> anyway, I told you guys I wanted a muffin or I wanted a donut, but that's just way out of my league. And I know I deserve it, obviously, but my delicate feet, it's just way too far to go there. <laughs> so I'll just take it with this and I am going to be so fulfilled because I love chocolate. Zenon and Reiner, they are on the tower over there getting their swimming lessons and Orlando, he just woke up. But I had to hide away some evidence because Orlando, he always keeps some food of me in his hair. So I had to blow his hair out because in this case, the crumbs of the muffin are some serious evidence of the crimes that I committed to Reiner and Zenon. Because I definitely know if they would have known that I got a muffin, they would have wanted one too. But I asked them and they didn't want to come with me. They wanted to have some swimming lessons because normally Zenon has swimming lessons somewhere else. So they don't have to, but they want it. So they're busy and I have to keep myself busy too <laughs> and there's one guy in the water I don't know if you guys can see him but he has all his equipment and he's checking out if there's like jewelry or silver or anything in the water and it looks kind of funny because he's definitely a tourist because he's very white I know I'm very white too but I'm not a tourist in this case but <laughs> he is very smart because I know I one time was on a vacation in Bulgaria Bulgari, Bulgaria, <laughs> and uh, I went on a water scooter and I lost my golden ring. So if there's a couple people who've lost their ring over here, he's getting some serious business. He's earning his vacation back. That's what I should be doing when I go to Holland. <laughs> Checking into the brown water for silver and gold. <laughs> So we decided to go under the tree to get some shade and the new diaper because Mr. Hair got a dirty diaper. So right now we have the red cloth diaper. You're so cute in your diaper, huh? Yeah. And the swimming lessons is over, so we are going home. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next episode. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and please comment because we love reading that.